Yeah, hello again. It's time for you with Shelia Stevens. Hello. And Lea Wendley, that's me. And we're so happy that you are listening and taking some time off for you. Um, We are trying something out today and it's called Real Talk. We just talk as we talk before the podcast and maybe we like it, you like it, maybe we don't, maybe you don't, so we just, <laughs> we just try. try. Okay, what I wanted to tell Shelia is that I went away um, with my husband to Paris last mm. week and mm. my parents came to my house and actually... Oh, I love them dearly. They're really cool and lovely and and they're different, of course. And I knew <laughs> that my mom is going to um, clean up and maybe sort out things that are not necessary in my our home and I even told her that that's totally fine she could do it with the little one and ask the big one too if we, he want to um, do it with her and so, so they did and w what was really interesting is that I met her and they had a great time and I knew when we met for having a drink before Christmas we always go to eat fondue that's a very Swiss thing that's melted cheese in a big uh, pan, pot. pot, and you you just uh, how do you say it? You, you dip you dip bread in it. So that's what we on a stick dip. on a stick. That sounds so weird. It is a <laughs> bit weird, and it smells horrible. I always put my hat on that my hair do not smell, and I'm a bit <laughs> of a weirdo in this restaurant so I went to see her before we met with my sister we always do that like together every year and it's always nice and we always cry and we always hug and say we love each other so much and that's true but before that I knew there is gonna be a talk like my mom wants to tell me things and by the way I'm 46 <laughs> so wait a second let me let me let me clarify you you knew that your mom wanted to have a t conversation with you during the fondue dinner no before we met oh before, before. when yeah. you met before okay opero opero is really swiss too say say uh, what opero is because opero, it's very common uh, here but nobody in the u.s because we we looked at the statistics today and we saw there are quite a few listeners from the uk and the u.s so they don't know yes. what that is yeah so opero is um after work um you're going to have a drink and nibble some food and a lot of people are doing that in alcoholic drink usually alcoholic drink usually yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, prosecco very often that's italian or beer yeah mm -hmm. so you're a bit dizzy for dinner yeah mm -hmm. that's uh, a big thing you're not going to be drunk it's just like having one or two glass getting a little buzz so what we yeah. would say, yeah. Oh, but, um, and so we had a Prosecco. Um, um, ah, one time we could talk about not drinking and drinking. I didn't drink for four years. Yeah. Because actually I wanted to see if I really could kind of um, untangle the I want to feel better through a glass of wine feeling and coming back to the oh it's just a glass of wine mm -hmm. and it worked but um it took a long time and sometimes my clients are annoyed that it's going to take them longer than they think that wisdom is telling them that it's okay to do it again or not yeah that was a side <laughs> note <laughs> so back to the upper row. I knew, and I was, oh, now the word, prepared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's one of the most difficult words for Leah to speak in English. She, It's prepared. 
prepared. I'm prepared. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she started and she told me, yeah, so um, I, I did that and I did that. And did you know that if the big one would have order in his clothes, mm. it would be easier. And I mean, I already know what she's going to tell me mm. because she does it like for a long time. And she knows that I know somehow mm -hmm. or she realizes it when she starts talking that I already know that she's going to tell me. So wait a second. Let me let me get this straight. She has the same conversation with you every single year and it's always the same tips and advice or things she thinks you should be doing with the boys. Yes. Okay. And what the interesting thing is that I really, I, I, I went full on three peach and I just listened. And it's not true. I was annoyed, but I listened. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and still, that was really interesting because I said, is there more? And she said, yes. And I said, okay, tell me. And suddenly she realized, yes, it's true. She really just wants to get it out of her chest. Mm -hmm. Out of her system, we say. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I realized, okay, yeah, you can do that. Because I was really grateful that she came to our place, that we could go to Paris. We did. No, 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 no. It was so great. Um, so... Yeah, I'm able to just listen to the same thing mm -hmm. again. And I don't have to be that annoyed. And there are things that are true as well. Yeah. Yeah. But um, what was the interesting discussion after, and she's open to do that, I said, are you okay with it to just clean and do order was this aufräumen clean up uh, straighten up straighten up clean up just for the doing of it or do you always want that something changes and that was really interesting because then she said oh you're right i i want to have the people having an insight when i do it oh, oh. So let me get this straight. So she's cleaning up at your house and she's hoping that you'll come home and you'll have an aha moment. Yes. Like how wonderful it is to have yes. it organized versus the way it yes. was before. <laughs> it was not that messy, by the way. It is a little, but not that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Interesting. 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 And it that. Just to notice, like, what are we doing? Why are we doing things? And it's mm. okay if we want to <laughs> have the other one inside, but we can't force the oh. people. So, ah, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And mm, what I wanted to say something else, but that was, and, and we, we're not fighting anymore at all and I'm not defending myself because I see what she sees and I know there there is potential but I also see and know that we're doing so good and mm -hmm. that we have systems and that we have um, our way of doing things and it is different than hers and for me It's very important that my boys are discover discovering their way. Yeah. That it doesn't have to be my way. And I know for my mom as well. But still, I feel that I want to be helpful and I want that it's easier for you. And, and my way could be helpful. And that could be true. And I'm sure it's not always that easy to see something that could be different and knowing you can't change it for the other one. 
and yeah. if it's your child it's even um m- more difficult but what the end of the conversation was and that was very cool i i told her look i'm really grateful and the only thing i really don't want is that you worry and that you take your worries serious because mm-hmm. when i ask you do you see that we are doing good and that we are happy and that our teenage boy is a happy camper and the other one as well and we are a couple in love still after 23 years i'm going to do a podcast oh, no <laughs> yeah we can do a podcast on that i'm i like that so yeah and and we are so used to worry that we sometimes forget to see what what's good and what works mm-hmm. and 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 to worship that and not to listen to our brain who is always worrying and that's the only thing that would make me sad if she she would continue to do that but she actually sees it and then she stops and and we had a very lovely fondue with my sister Mm. and I wrote on her Christmas card the the poem of um, Mary Oliver the wild geese and I came across the poem from Isla I really love Isla Coates the Mm -hmm. very nice coach I have Um, and the first line is you don't have to be good and that's so cool and so freeing and so so human we already are good and we are messy and strange and (laughs) weird (laughs) and not perfect (laughs) and worry and needy and and that's fine yeah so it was a a lovely and a bit annoying (laughs) Mm -hmm. um um, meet up with my mom and I really love her and to to also be okay with being a little annoyed and she is worrying a little bit and it doesn't have to be perfect and still it's a very cool and nice relationship we have mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah so. I mean, uh, for the for the listeners out there, you don't know Leah's mom, but you know, I I don't know her that well, but I, I you know, I see, mm. I Leah and I have been walking together on life's path for a while, and I I do know that your mom is lovely, and that you guys have a lot of time together throughout the year where you're involved in each other's lives, and for me, it's so fascinating um, when you talk about these stories, because, you know, my mom passed away in 2004. So that's almost been 20 years ago. Mm. This this uh, next summer, it's going to be 20 years. And I was really close to my mom. Um, and she's a totally different kind of character um, th- than your mom is. But also, I don't have children. And so it, it's, I don't, I don't have that from either side, right? Mm-hmm. So there's nothing that anybody expects from me to be different. There's nobody watching out for me in the way that your mom is watching mm-hmm. out for you. Um, there's a lot of, you know, so there's nothing, how can I say, there aren't those those Apero conversations where I brace myself for them. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and also there's nobody checking in on me um, at all, right? Mm-hmm. And so that's that's interesting. And also with with the children's aspect so i it yeah it's fascinating to me i can imagine a lot of people out there have the mom daughter dynamic or maybe the father son dynamic mm-hmm. and, and the children going on and it's it's still interesting for me even though i don't have that and the question that that, that came up for me is like do you have that as a mom like do you have areas where you worry is still about your boys or do you feel like since you've come to this understanding that the worry has completely dissipated from your motherhood journey? Mm. Uh, it's, it's, um, it 
never it 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 can't be completely dissipated of yeah. course not but what i see is that i'm i'm more aware of where i am and not where they are so mm -hmm. it's like really but naturally calibrating myself it's not like I have to and I really have to be aware and how do I parent but it changed everything and most of the time I'm coming from a place of of presence when I parent and when I'm in my head or when I have a bad mood or a low mood, I'm okay with having all the feelings and all the, the thinking about whatever issue, but I just know not to F it up as I did sometimes before. And I know it's totally okay also to just say stuff sometimes or, or, or be loud once or or whatever is coming through you in a low mood but for me um, Dr. Dick Bettinger once said when we speak then or when we do stuff then when we are in the storm in the low mood it's like vomiting over somebody else or it's like mm, neesen, uh, sneezing sneezing and we don't want that actually nobody wants that mm. and I think my parenting was the first thing that changed like I was not rude or loud or or mom but i was i had very huge emotions inside myself so it was very heavy and and sometimes um i i i was overwhelmed and and i didn't know how and now i i just know not to take these feelings and these ideas and this thinking serious mm -hmm. and the the little one for example I, it's just an example he does play a game that a lot of parents will know and it's a shooter game and I do not like it that much and I do have a lot of thinking around it and mm. still I I can come from a place of, is it okay? Is it too much? Um, do we have to regulate something? And as you said today, I'm interested in the aliveness as well, yeah. in the moment, in the how is it now and not in the concept of, me as a mom do not like it so it doesn't happen it's very important to him and all of his friends are playing it and he has to learn how to navigate mm -hmm. this world in his world so I want him to be equipped with knowing how it works and also talk about the addictive part of it, talk about how his inner voice when he's in a low mood really wants to go there to soothe him. That's wisdom, actually. It's just not the only coping strategy that we should <laughs> have in our lives, gaming, but it's one, of yeah. course. So I'm... I'm not that attached anymore of how I see the world and how my boys have to be and 
or they have a style I don't like. They're totally into the teenager and boy style of big um, basketball shoes and and brands and TikTok and Insta influencer mm -hmm. and it. Of course, sometimes my brain goes into the worry and, oh, well, how is it? And that's, they're influenced by strange people. And then I come back and know they're bloody wise and they know and they have to learn. And they, what I want them to know is how we work, how we function and how life works and then to trust their navigation and what they have to experience and yeah. that they know that I'm there, that we are there, that that's the main part for me. And the worry is never, never helpful. Yeah. When I start to worry, I always know I have to come back, I have to chill out, I have to take my hands off my effed up thinking. There is no solution. And of course, sometimes my brain goes there. That's fine. But I don't want to parent from there. I don't want to live from there. And I'm quite strong-handed with myself in this regard. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And... Also with the clients, I see that's the way. When you come back to your calibration, then you start to see how to to educate, how to parent, how to see the wisdom in your child again. And mm -hmm. that's the best thing that you could do and best thing I could learn, we could learn. Yeah. Yeah, and and just for just for the people out there listening, because mm. calibration is kind of a coachy word that we use mm. to mm -hmm. to teach our coaches, you know, to where they are on the inside. So what Leah means by that is just calibrating where you are on the inside. Like, am I in a state of worry right now? That's mm -hmm. like then that's just checking in with yourself. And am I acting from a place of worry or not? Mm -hmm. um, or rather, am I in the present moment, uh, alive with mm -hmm. my child and it, are the things coming from there. So the calibration is just noticing where you are on the inside and from what inner place you're, mm -hmm. um, moving into the world with your, with your action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and you can, uh, that's the fun thing with that to start to experiment. You really in little, little, small, tiny, um, areas you just can try it out and I did that in all of the areas I started to try it out and to really really give it a try and it uh, it I mean we've got such a lovely family life mm -hmm. and I really would wish that for all of the people and all the kids and all the moms it's mm -hmm. so cool and I know it's bloody hard I mean we are exhausted too it's like mm -hmm. summer camp 24 7 but it's <laughs> easier with that knowing it's a lot easier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and <laughs> maybe that's what you and I always have to laugh about because you know that I've got a messy life as well mm -hmm. it's not like this shiny perfect tootle to life but I I don't care because it's filled with love and and fun and it's so rich because I'm I'm more present to it yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's real so talk. Cool. That's real talk. Leah, I love this talk. Mm -hmm. I love this talk and this episode so much. And so 
I'm kind of going to just make a prediction that we're just going to keep doing this for a while <laughs> because <Me too. laughs> it's so good and so juicy. Yeah. Um, thanks for sharing that with me today. I, I love just touching base with you. Like we, we were talking um, before we started the recording, like this is like a very indulgent mm -hmm. thing that Leah and I are doing for ourselves more than anything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have time to be together and um so we don't care what you get out of it no yeah. um no we do hope that you that you did get something out of it um and whatever that was um it's the perfect thing um come back and listen in for the next time for you episode um subscribe to the podcast uh tell your friends anybody you think could benefit from it mm -hmm. um we're just two middle-aged ladies from, <laughs> Leah hates it when I say that, from Switzerland and, and Germany, or actually American living in Germany. And, you know, I'm, we all have the same stuff we're dealing with and different flavors. And um, we're just trying to help you guys point you in the direction of um, an easier, um, more present, loving, rich way of mm. being in the world. Um, so, yeah, thanks mm. and see you next time. Thank you. Bye.